everybody welcome back to my channel so for today's video um, as you guys can tell the time I wanted to do a review and testing out a new product and the product that I'm gonna be testing out today is the bare minerals bare skin complete coverage serum concealer which looks like this and the reason why I wanted to try this one out today was because I've seen Jenny 69 um, use this one so I was like you know what I need a new concealer let me try this one out so if you guys want to hear my thoughts and how this works then just for free and keep on watching so to start off of course i'm going to start off with my base and for primer i'm going to take my hourglass veil mineral primer looks like this okay so now for foundation i'm going to go in with my jouet essential high coverage foundation again this is in the shade latte I'm just gonna take that on the back of my my hand. Yeah, I'm running out. Okay, so now that we have that all blended out, we're gonna go in with the concealer. Again, this is a Bare Minerals Concealer, and I got the shade Light, just because I swatched the medium shade, but that one looked more like of a pinky undertone, and I don't personally like pinky undertones, like, for my daily makeup routine. So this is what the packaging it looks like when you take it out of the box. So this has 0 0.20 fluid ounces. I feel like the, I think the shape tape has way more than this one, but is okay if it works good and this is the applicator so it's like it has it flat on both sides as you guys can see it picks up quite a bit product so as you guys can see it does pick up a lot of product which i am loving so i'm gonna go ahead and okay i feel like i got a pretty good shade i'm scared because i don't know how i don't know if like a little goes a long way so actually a lot of product came out so whatever was on there i just went ahead and i used for both eyes and down my nose Again, it was a lot of product that came out on the brush, which I love. So now I'm going to go ahead and take my Beauty Blender again, and I'm just going to start to blend that in. So it's blending out really, really easily, really seamless. So that blended out really, really nicely. I'm loving it so far. So for the coverage, I wanna say it's like medium coverage. Again, it probably looks like it's full coverage just because of the foundation that I went in with because this foundation alone is a lot of coverage. But so far, I'm honestly loving how the concealer is looking. So to me, on my skin, I feel like it's more of like of a satin kind of finish, not so much matte or anything like that. Again, I am gonna set it, so that will be the true test. Just from blending it out, as you guys can see, you guys can tell it's like more dewy, um, but the cover is there and I really, really like it actually. And I feel like I got like the perfect shade. So now to set, I'm going to take my Kat Von D translucent powder. I have to get something new just because I don't like, I'm sorry not to like this one. I'm actually not going to take it on a beauty blender. I'm going to take, actually on one side, I'm going to take it with a brush. And then on the other side, I'm going to apply the setting powder with the beauty blender. So this one is a BH Cosmetics brush, as I mentioned in my previous video. I have a lot of these. I got like the whole set, so I'm going to go in with this one. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. And then take in more. And then I'm going to take it on my beauty blender. Just to see what side I like better. Okay. And then with the rest, I'm just going to take the Beauty Blender. So while that is still setting and baking, I'm going to move on to bronzer. And for the bronzer that I'm going to use is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is the medium to deep one. And I'm just taking it on this brush right here. Actually, I'm going to take it on this brush first. I know I use this one for my blush, but I mean, it'll still work. So 
So now that I'm done bronzing up the skin, I'm going to go ahead and take the large powder brush. I'm just going to start to wipe away the excess. Okay, so right away, personally, I do not like how the brush applied it. Again, I did mention in one of my videos that when I go in with the brush and set my under eye, I feel like it leaves it kind of more like shimmery, which I do not like. So I say that the Beauty Blender side left it way, way better. I'm not sure if you guys can tell the difference, but that I'm looking at myself in the mirror, this one, this side left it kind of like shimmery and a patchy kind of in some areas whereas this side left it really really nice and matte okay so this is the completed look um i'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in to closer to the face so you guys can really get um a good look at the concealer okay so this is how it looks up close so again this side was the side with the brush I, I feel like now that i'm zoomed in i feel like this side looks a little bit wider i'm not sure if you guys can see that too and then this side looks a little bit more like my skin. Um, I didn't notice that until right now that I'm like up close. So again, this side looks a little bit more like a white cast. And this one looks a little bit more like natural and like within. Um, again, I won't apply this with the brush. I think I'll stick to applying it with the Beauty Blender. But again, this is how it looks up close. The creasing, I haven't creased, which is a good thing because I creased really, really fast. So again, this is the side with the Beauty Blender. And this is the side with the, I'm sorry, this is the side with the brush. And this is the side with the Beauty Blender. So I do love this concealer. Um, I have to give it, obviously I have to wear it more often. And the next time that I wear, I'm going to apply just using my Beauty Blender on both sides and see how that comes out. Um, but that's pretty much it. I will kind of update you guys on the concealer once I use it more often. That is pretty much it. If you guys have used this concealer, make sure to leave it down below. I really like to hear your guys' opinions, whether you guys liked it or not. Again, I purchased it just because Jenny69 said that she loved it. So when Jenny69 says that something's good, something's good, okay? Um, so far, so good. I really do like the concealer again i won't apply with the brush again just because i personally didn't like how it applied maybe if i apply it with a different brush it'll give me like a different outcome but from the results that i got today i won't be applying it with the brush i'll just continue applying it with the beauty blender and that is pretty much all i have to say if you guys enjoyed make sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys aren't already and that is pretty much it and don't forget to like this video and that's pretty much all i have to say and i will see you guys on the next one